If you were to conjure up an image of Tory England, you'd probably imagine somewhere like this. It's been Tory since its creation in the 1970s, but at the by-election in June, it overturned that massive Tory majority, and it's now a Lib Dem seat. Should the Tories be worried about a crumbling blue wall, or actually, was it just a by-election blip? Let's find out. You're a local Liberal Democrat activist. You have this massive by-election win in a seat where you've never had an MP, always been Tory here. Lots of people say funny things happen in by-elections. It'll go back to Tory at the next general election. Yeah, it, I think that is a fair point you make. But I also think, having been here for 10 years, I've been involved locally with the party for eight years, and I've seen a trend developing now. So in 2019, we came second. Then uh, in the locals, obviously in May, we fielded quite a few candidates and we now are control of uh, Amersham Town Council for the first time, having come from no councillors to eight, right? So there was this momentum building and then obviously Sarah's team just worked incredibly hard during the campaign. There was this sense that people were taken for granted on the doorstep. They were telling us that they felt they were taken for granted. So I think it was something that was bubbling away and now it's come to fruition. So I do think it's part of a trend and not just a one-off. But why? What What's leading to that trend? So I think there have probably been a lot of people, maybe like myself, young families moving out of London looking for a bit more space. It is very green around here in the Chilterns. We're very lucky. Um, and that actually they maybe weren't the Tory voters of old. Um, and I think, yeah, just the Tories have maybe taken their eye off the ball a little bit. They haven't really looked at these seats in the South for a while, maybe. And there is a demographic change going on. I think government needs to make sure that it isn't seen to be remote and taking areas like this for granted because you know you look at areas in Surrey, you look at Oxfordshire, you look at Cambridgeshire and so on um, and it's very easy to see there you know a feeling that the north is what counts now in the Midlands, areas like Ashfield for example you know uh, and and we voted Conservative, you know, for decades. Buckingham has been Conservative since 1889, you know. So, you know, we need to make sure that we have some share of voice and we're being listened to as well. Come the next general election, you're going to have a Conservative MP again? If I had to put my mind in it, yes, I would. Yes, I would. It's interesting just talking to, you know, friends in my road and whatever. A lot of people took the opportunity of a by-election, as they do, um, to effectively show their unhappiness, discontent with particular issues. Um, and I think it's really important. And I think if we do work hard, particularly emphasising the local delivery here, uh, I think we can win this back. Um, but we do need central government to also be empathetic to local people. Do you think this will be a Conservative seat again? Was it just a blip? Do you I think? think I think just everyone was just so fed up with it. They decided that that's it. Let's have a change. So Boris Johnson shouldn't be too worried about no. places like this. Come the general election. Boris, leave Boris alone. He's good. He's our one of our, he's the best we got. I really think maybe it was down to Boris. Bless him. That's what. That's all I can think. I think it's time for a change. I think um, the environmental impact from the previous party has probably taken its toll, and people are tired of it. And did you change your vote personally? I did, yes. So you used to be Conservative and this time, for the first time you moved to Liberal Democrats? Correct. This is the hard question for you. Come the general election, will you go back to the Conservatives? Probably. OK, um, so it might have been a blip. It may have been a blip, yeah. OK. <laughs> Do you think the Tories are doing a good job? Up to the time they started building the railway through the middle of the, the Chilterns, yeah. So they wouldn't have got your vote at that by-election? No. What do they have to do to win you back? Well, they can't do anything. It's, it's down to the government. Yeah. They made that decision. It's uh, nothing we can do about that now. Have you always voted Tory? I have. Did you vote Tory at the by-election? No. Tell me. Explain. Tell me why. It was a very big decision. It was a very big decision. But, you know, the Liberal Democrats did such a brilliant campaign. They put out amazing leaflets, 
there was somebody, somebody, I think three, three banged actually on my door where I live in Top Amersham. One of them was particularly gorgeous, very engaging, sold herself brilliantly, talked about all of the aspirations that the Lib Debs ham. I thought, yes, I could do this. I like this woman. Really? OK, key question then. It's a general election. It's yes. not really, but imagine you're going yes. to the polling station yes. on general election day. It might Are be different. People... It might be. This, was, this felt very personal to me. It felt very personal. I love this area. I love this town. I've lived here many years. And I thought, yep, time for a change here. I'm not sure it would alter my opinion for a big day.